Hello, mate. Come in. MTV Cribs. Right, this is a new place. I moved into uh, about three, four months ago now. How are you finding it? Are you settled? Yeah, really enjoying it. Um, you know, it's first time moving into uh, my own place, but you know, I'm buzzing. A lot of my family's up here. I've got my brothers and stuff, so that was a big part of it. What was it about the club that made you want to come up? Um, I'd probably say, yeah, the fact that they showed interest in me for such a long time and I knew I was, um, had more chance of playing games here, which I've, you know, I've done so far and long may that continue. I don't like to rush in the morning. Um, I don't want to be fine by the lads for being late. Up, coffee, and then uh, just off to the training ground. What do you like away from, from football? Like, how do you keep yourself busy? What hobbies do you do? Oh, to be honest, I don't actually do much, I just chill. Sometimes I get home from training and I'm just tired, so I'm just chilling out, really. I found it actually quite easy. Obviously, being away from family and, and my friends uh, was hard, but, you know, it's a step you've got to take out of your comfort zone to, uh, to try and get better and uh, become a better all-round person and, and a player, so I get on along with a lot of the lads, so. Anyone in particular that you <laughs> uh, Josh McEachran, uh, Woodsy, Nico, Romain, yeah, they're all good lads. How have you found uh, the season so far? Obviously, you're blind in form. Luckily, I've, I've, I've had a good start and I've adapted to uh, the Championship quicker than I thought I would. Uh, but I think that's down to like the players and the staff and what, what we've got going on around us. I don't know if we're meant to be in for 9.45, to be honest. Oh, really? But I always get in early anyway. How have you found the fans since you come in? Yeah, I think they've taken to me really well. Um, it's always nice when you hear encouragement. It makes you, you know, it makes you feel good, and yeah, it makes you just feel confident. So I think they've taken to me really well, and uh, I'm really enjoying it at the moment. Hopefully, they, hopefully they don't go off me. Have they got a song for you? Uh, I don't know, I think they, I've heard them sing like, I've heard them sing my name, but I don't think it's really, it's really much of a song. Now, now might be a good opportunity to maybe suggest a song. Is there anything, <laughs> what, what could it do? Hardly walking, da, 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 da. Hardly just, just, that's, that's quite safe, isn't it? How do you see things playing out for you all now? Like, I know obviously it's early days for you here at Brentford and it's early days in your career, but what do you see happening? Like, what are your, your hopes and ambitions? Um, you know, to play as many games as possible in this league, like consistently. That's what I want to try and do, play consistently, um, you know, and always bring something to the team. You know, I'm going to improve here a lot, so um, just try and keep scoring goals. How important are your friends and family around you all in your development and with you as a person? Um, yeah, I think. They're always keeping me on track, like, my best pals always looking out for me. Um, they tell me what I'm doing wrong and stuff like that. I don't want to get ahead of myself because I haven't achieved anything yet. You know, I want to keep pushing on and maybe if I've played in the Premier League for 10 years, then I can, you know, then I can uh, get a little bit of, get a little bit excited. But, um, you know, I've got, I haven't achieved anything yet, so I've just got to keep working hard and, uh, and keep going. Do you think this football club can get to the Premier League? Yeah, definitely. With the squad we've got um, and the way we're playing, you know, there's, there's not any team that's better, in us, better than us in this league. Did you set a target for yourself? No, I didn't, I didn't set a target. I, I didn't want to put pressure on myself, um, you know, but... It would be nice to um, equal what I did last year, or maybe one better. But we'll see. I'm just t I'm not thinking about the goals too much because when you when you start thinking overthinking it about it and stuff like that, you, you know you put pressure on yourself, and I don't want that to happen. Oh, there's such a buzz when you when you score, especially late on in the game. Um, or say it's like it's one all when you score, 
it's there's no other feeling when you see when you turn around and you see f people's facial expressions and cheering. Yeah, it's a, it's a great feeling. Uh, the man of the match trophy I got against Bristol City, my first, you know, when I got my first goal, I gave that to my grandparents. Um, just little stuff like that. Cause when I'm away, it reminds reminds me of them. I gave a shirt to my brother's best mate for his 30th because he's a Brentford fan. Uh, just try and do nice things like that. Are you always looking forward? Are you the kind of guy who, oh, once it's achieved, it's ticked off, it's like, right, what's next? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, yeah, I've always got like targets and things. Um, I never really settle for things. I'm always trying to find what's next. But um, I enjoy it because it's, you know, it's good to set goals and targets and uh, it's good trying to find something you, to achieve. So, um, yeah, I'm always setting new targets for myself.